Sophia Ustun, who is the executive director at the SETA Foundation. Thank you for joining me. Uh, so these sanctions have been threatened for quite some time. Now they've been signed into force by Donald Trump. Are you surprised that they have been imposed? Uh, it's not very surprising, except that, you know, President Trump had defended Turkey on this uh, particular matter because Turkey has called for a dialogue with the U.S. counterparts. Uh, it proposed to establish a, a working group to study the technical details, uh, including NATO uh, as well. So uh, President Trump has has said that Turkey was right in this particular matter because in the past Turkey wanted to buy F-35s uh, and other um, uh, air defense systems, sorry, uh, but the uh, Obama administration was not uh, positive to this idea. And because of that, Turkey turned to uh, Russia and Chinese China for um, for these air defense systems. So. Um, it's it's not very surprising because it was revealed before it was kind of expected. Uh, the good news about it is it's very limited. It's limited to the Defense Industry Procurement Agency of Turkey. But of course, it's going to have a significant impact because um, Turkey's uh, defense relationship with the U.S. will be directly impacted. And it, it might also have an effect on the um, relations with European partners, European defense companies as well. This is Turkey's major main procurement agency. So uh, it's not a good look for U.S.-Turkey relations. Uh, instead of di dialogue, Trump administration went for these sanctions. Uh, Turkey just condemned them and called them unilateral sanctions. Uh, so it's not good because if there was a technical group, uh, they worked out the details. Uh, and they made sure that these systems did not compromise NATO systems, uh, that would have been a preferable uh, route for Turkey. So um, it is limited, uh, but at the same time, uh, between two NATO allies imposing sanctions on defense uh, cooperation matters, is, is, it's pretty significant. Uh, Turkey uh, has been angered by these sanctions. It, it won't be happy. How do, you, how do you see Turkey's reaction going forward and Turkey's relations with the U.S.? Well, uh, Turkey just announced they might take uh, counter actions. And I think uh, going forward, it will uh, depend on the Biden administration's approach. This kind of line uh, of punishing Turkey uh, sanctioning Turkey. Turkey has indicated many, many times that this wasn't the productive, uh, fruitful, fruitful route for two NATO allies that cooperate, that need to cooperate on major issues, regional issues, security issues, global issues as well. And Turkey is not a small player. It's a regional uh, player. It has troops in Libya, in Syria, now in Azerbaijan. Um, it is very critical to U.S. national security and U.S. interests in the region and around the world. So uh, I think it will depend on how the Biden administration will approach Turkey, whether they will establish links of uh, dialogue for uh, sort of repairing what's happening with F-35s and S-400s, these sanctions, and if they can put the defense relationship on a better track uh, with sort of a prospect in the future for Turkey to, to be included once again in the F-35 program and removal of these sanctions, I think uh, a constructive attitude by the Biden administration will, will be important. But uh, at this point, Turkey sees these as uh, unfair and unilateral sanctions. And it will it will seek to respond, but I believe that they would they might wait. They might we don't know, but they might wait for the new administration and see okay. what their approach okay. is. Kadir Ustin, thank you very much indeed for joining us.